Breaking overnight, Warwick police investigating a serious crash left a driver injured, his car and several boats also damaged. Yeah, this all happened on West Shore Road in Appenog, right near the railroad bridge, seen here on the Pinpoint News Tracker. Eric Ritchie's been at the scene now for a couple of hours. What's the latest, Erica? Well, guys, it's been a steady stream of boat owners showing up to Wood Boat and Motor this morning, coming to see if their boat was one of the ones in the path of destruction. Some have gotten here and breathed a sigh of relief, but uh, the owner of this boat right behind me here, the red one it, that's uh, upside down, uh, it's really been a gut-wrenching experience for him. I just spoke with him a little bit ago, and uh, this was really, really a difficult time for him. Uh, the car that hit these boats, not in good shape either. Let's show you that video uh, that we rolled on uh, when we arrived here as that car was being towed from the scene. Uh, that was about 2.30 this morning. It's a little bit dark, but you can still see that uh, the damage is quite extensive there and the car is quite mangled. Its driver, we're told by Warwick Police, a 26-year-old man. He was taken to Rhode Island Hospital where he's being treated as we speak. He was the only one in the car when it crashed around 11 o'clock last night into the parking lot here off of West Shore Road. Warwick Police telling us it's currently too soon to know what may have happened or if that driver will be charged or cited. The owner of this boat dealership, Russell Wood, says that this is not the first time something like this has happened. In fact, it is the third, so he was not surprised when he got the phone call uh, last night around midnight that a crash occurred. Uh, in fact, he had said that uh, he was really in the process of working to make sure he didn't get a call like this. Take a listen. And just last week, my wife, uh, was on the phone with the mayor's office uh, trying to get some type of resolve to something, you know, preventing something like this happening. So now, you know, we really got to figure something out. This, this can't happen again. So as we come back live now, I can tell you that uh, this is pretty much the extent of the damage in this area right over here. I'm told that it's five boats that were damaged. Three of them belong to private individuals. They were here being stored or serviced. Two of them belong to the dealership. Uh, most of them are totaled. You can see this one here, the one that I showed you just a little bit ago. Uh, this was so far reaching, the impact so great. Even that boat in the far distance across the parking lot was, uh, was affected and damaged by this. Now the process begins of cleaning up the mess, which is going to set them a day or two behind uh, for servicing these uh, boats that so many people were hoping to get out into the water sometime soon. And then, of course, all of the paperwork with the insurance will have to go on. But, um, but right now, that is the latest here live in Warwick. Erica Ritchie, Eyewitness News.